Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business and let's wake up the football gods. Wake up here, guys. Here we are Tuesday morning. We sit nine days, 11 hours, five minutes, and 10 seconds away from kickoff of the 2019 season. And a few days after that, we'll be taking on the New York stinking Giants and those cockroaches I can't wait I cannot wait to take those guys on but um, we got plenty of time to talk about those cockroaches and the ones that showed up in here last night I need to get myself some rate and of course at least got a fly swatter for them giant fans but we are fortunate that our team is getting healthy right now Amari Cooper is getting better, as they say. He's not practicing yet. You know, we've got the game the day after tomorrow, if you want to call it a game. Um, but it's really the last chance bowl. Basically, the last chance for guys to audition for their next team and things. Um, and this time a year, especially this year, it's going to be hell for our team to figure out who in the world we keep. We have a lot of talent, a lot of young guys. We have done such a great job in drafting and finding talent that we've got a problem that a lot of teams wish they had. Who to keep? And I can guarantee you we're going to have plenty of teams that are going to be hanging out outside the Dallas Cowboys locker room waiting to sign some of these players that get released. we got teams calling, asking about offensive linemen. Now, last night during our live stream, shout out to everybody who was in here. It's getting lively up in here. We're simulcasting it on my uh, uh, Facebook pages as well. It's growing like crazy. Shout out to all you great fans and things that are out there. Um, we were talking last night about this, about all of these great players that we have, and, and who are we going to keep? Our defensive line. You know, we've got guys there that are on the bubble, like Daniel Ross, Daniel Wise, Jalen Jelks, um, Joe Jackson. You look at some of these guys, and it's like, damn, I don't want to let any of these guys go. But unfortunately, you can only keep 53 men on that roster. And by Saturday, 4 o'clock, you got to have that list together. You'll be able to bring back 10 other guys, but 37 guys that we have in camp right now. So Thursday's game is important for a lot of those guys to make that last impression. You know, we've gone through, and we've let guys go that have become – you know, great players in other places because you just don't know what you don't know. But our team is getting healthier. Amari Cooper is getting close to getting back to playing, as at least as we're told, and looks like he's on schedule to be able to play week one. We know that Byron Jones is now off the list. We know Demarcus Lawrence is off the list. We know that Tyrone Crawford. So the only person that you're looking at, now we assume that Tyrone, Tyrone Smith, and Zach Martin will be okay. You know, they got two more weeks to get together. But we're looking at having just about everybody healthy, with the exception of Robert Quinn, who has got a two-game suspension, and Randy Gregory, who's got who knows long, how long it's mentioned. Um, I'm hoping that he's got his paperwork in, and maybe we'll find out something about him in the near future. But I can't seem to find out whether or not he put in his paperwork um, to be reinstated. The only thing we are missing right now is Zeke Elliott. And it seems that he is missing in general because we haven't heard anything since he came back to Dallas. Now, I know he was supposed to be at a celebrity uh, charity golf tournament and things, and I can't find out any information of whether or not he was there or not. If you got any information on it, please share it with me because I'd like to know. But I will say this. To me... Because we aren't hearing anything, that no news may be good news. When negotiations aren't going well, what typically happens is you hear about it in the public. Because you're trying to sway public opinion onto your side. We heard that Zeke's doing a Maxim article, you know, and of course said, and this was done in July, that he wants to be a Dallas Cowboy for life. And that being released may be the softening 
of this. This is court of public opinion, you know, to get people to think, oh, man, he wants to be a cowboy for life, to kind of turn some of that negative publicity of him wanting to be the highest paid. You follow me? You got to read between the lines a bit and see what the Cowboys going through saying, you know, we offer top five money. That was their chance to kind of bring Zeke Elliott to the table and make him look bad. But because we're not really hearing a lot of negativity, I think there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Now, another thing that that's going on behind the scenes that I'm happy we're not hearing anything about is the NFL and NFLPA negotiations. We haven't heard anything other than um, when they met last month. They were supposed to meet for three days, but it ended up being one day. We haven't really gotten any details at all, other than time to time Jerry Jones will say, oh, well, you know, I, I won't be there for my own party because I'm going to be in Chicago. And I believe last night was another one of those times that the NFL and the NFL were meeting. And so them meeting and you're not hearing anything about it to me says there's good things that are happening because of it. And let's hope that they get this thing worked out, get it done out of the way so it won't be that sore thumb that we're going to be dealing with all season, talking about the NFL, PA. And, look, son, there's more than enough money to go around for the players, the owners, and the past players not to get the thing worked out. So that's where we are with that. But this is an interesting tad bit here. And you know what? I, I definitely want to check this out. Leighton Van Der Esch is becoming an entrepreneur. And here's the thing. When you are an NFL player, you've got a short window to set yourself up for the rest of your life. And a lot of times guys will go through and, you know, they'll join this business or that business and it ends up being a bust. It ends up being they're broke when they leave football and they've got nothing to fall back on. But, um, and I'm hoping that this isn't the case here with Van Der Esch because I love the whole concept. He is uh, starting, his first campaign is Starch is for Potatoes. And it's basically dress shirts that you don't iron. They require no dry cleaning and ironing. Hey, that's right up my alley. Because you know how much it costs to get a shirt dry clean? And then you got to go to the cleaners and all that and pick it up. You can drop it off and hope that it comes back and that you're not getting somebody else's. Man, I want some stuff that I can just throw in the washing machine and just put it on. Because I can't stand the iron. Now, I can't. If you ask my wife, it's just like, just, just, just get away from that. Just step away from the iron. You can't. I, I just can't do it. So, Leighton Van Der Esch, man, I'm going to definitely check out your shirts because, like I said, I don't like to go to the dry cleaners and pay that money, and I definitely don't like to use an iron. So, that's where we are right now. We've got today, we got practice. Now, we heard that Lyle Collins, um, it was crazy during my live stream last night because somebody said he had a toe issue. Somebody said he had a uh, left knee issue. We were like, and I was like, wait, wait, wait. I didn't hear anything about any of this. And I'm kind of like, did something happen during the live stream? Um, what it ended up being was he left practice early with a sore groin. And it's amazing because when I grew up so long ago, and yes, they did wear helmets. We didn't get conversations about practice. You didn't know about every minor injury, every pass play that was happening. You just didn't get that. You got the games, and if you were lucky, you might get a few highlights. But now, because of the information age, you literally get everything to the nth degree, and sometimes you get more information than you really need. Um, and so the Cowboys think, eh, it's just a sore groin, okay? We want to be cautious. Needs to get stretched out. Let it rest a little bit. He'll be good to go. Um, and I pray that he'll be good to go. Um, one uh, final thing that uh, Miss Jackie sent me last night, and I forgot to actually load it, but talking about practice. You know, they're always talking about my quarterback, Dak Prescott. But as you look at Andrew Luck, who went through all the injuries and stuff and just hung it up. As you look at some of these high draft picks, you know, that have happened, the Vince Youngs and things and RG3s and guys that didn't pan out, that teams invested 
a lot of draft capital and training time and stuff in there. Knuckleheads that have gone out and molested Uber drivers. We are really blessed with our quarterback. You know, they are constantly downing him and everything that he does. But for him to have this whole cancer, fight, face, finish, having uh, Catherine Jones, you know, there and working on changing lives with cancer. It's, it's incredible. A lot of guys have the platform and don't do anything with it. This is a guy that gets it. And I wish I had loaded because this is more important because most of you guys don't really give a damn about that, but you should because cancer touches everybody. But in practice, not a game now, you just look at how Michael Gallup and Dak Prescott are developing. And they just had the prettiest deep pass strike. Michael Gallup has got the speed, he's got the ability, and Dak is hitting him up. And you've seen already in preseason where those two guys are connecting. And that may end up being one of the best combinations in the NFL this year. You watch. I'm proud of my quarterback. I'm happy we got our quarterback. And I look for a lot of great things from my quarterback. With that being said, I got a whole lot of work to do in the workshop, so I'm going to be working from home most of the day. Uh, but any news on the Dallas Cowboys, we'll be sure to bring it to you. And as always, thank you guys for being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. I'll see you soon.